Hello and welcome. My name is Mark, this is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play a little card game called Spar. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Spar is a last trick trick-taking card game for two to four players. Now, depending on the source, I have seen that up to 10 can play this, and I've also read that it is best for two. Bicycle suggests two, three, or four players. This game seems to be related to an entire family of games played in Finland called Stitch, or The Last Stitch. Now those games are a little more complex with different features added to make them a little deeper. Spar is pretty simple. It's a must follow game and players are only dealt small hands, five cards and whoever takes the last trick earns a point. So what's the hook here? Why should you play this game? Well, things get interesting in the scoring phase because you earn more points for capturing the last trick with a lower ranked card. Typically, you only earn one point towards your game score, but if you capture the last trick with a seven, you earn two points. And if you capture the last trick with a six, you earn three points, which could mean winning the game. If you think this game looks interesting and you wanna dive into the family, you're gonna to have to do a little deep dive on the internet for the last stitch games. And you're probably going to have to translate the websites from Finnish to English. With all that said though, let's dive in and learn how to play Spar. In order to play Spar, all you need is a standard 52 card deck now we're going to cut down to 35 cards and a way to keep score. To prepare the deck for the game, you're going to cut each suit down to six low up through ace high. The spade suit is only six low up through king high. The ace of spades is removed. Determine a dealer. That player will shuffle the deck and then deal five cards to each player. Cards are dealt first in groups of three then two. The rest of the deck is placed off to the side. It is not used for the round. The first trick begins with the player seated left of the dealer. We'll play that the dealer is here at the bottom of the screen. Player one leads the first trick with any card from their hand. They've chosen to lead the first trick with the king of hearts. Following players must follow suit if they can. If they can't, they may play any card. Player two had the eight of hearts, so they followed suit and played it to the trick. Player three could not follow suit, so they played the queen of hearts. The highest ranking card in the suit that was led wins the trick, so the king of hearts wins the trick. Player one will collect and lead the next one. They lead the next trick with the nine of diamonds. Play passes left and each player must follow suit if they can. If not, they may play any card. The highest card in the suit that was led wins the trick, so player three wins with the queen of diamonds. They then lead the next trick with the ace of clubs. Player one could not follow suit, so they played out the seven of hearts. Player two could follow suit, so they played the ten of clubs, but the highest card in the suit that was led wins, which is the ace of clubs. Now they let out a spade, the king of spades, Player one could not follow, so they played their six of hearts. Player two could, they played the six of spades and the king wins it. And here we are at the final trick, the only trick that matters for points. The seven of diamonds was led, but player one takes it with the eight of diamonds. Bonus points are earned for capturing the trick with a six or a seven. Let's go to scoring and see how all that works. Only the player who captures the last trick earns points for the round. If the trick is captured with a six, that player earns three points. If that trick is captured with a seven, the player earns two points. And if the trick was captured with an eight or higher, which is what happened here for the example, that player earns one point. So player one earns one point for the round. Once the score for the round has been tallied up, collect the cards and deal passes left for the next round. Continue playing rounds until one player reaches a score of three or more. 
that player is the winner. For a longer game, you can play to five or to seven. And that's Spar. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward game. Uh, players are jockeying for position to be able to take control just in time to win that last trick. I could see this being a bit of a party game with larger crowds, especially up to like 10 players, which I don't know if that sounds very fun, but if you're with a large group and you wanna have some laughs, maybe it is. I see it being a really tight game with two or three players, especially when you start to introduce different facets of the Stitch family, like a Trump suit, or how long you can hold control of the lead. All of those things come into play with more complex versions of this game. I really like Bicycle's rule set though. They don't suggest an ending score in their rules, but uh, based on my research, it seems playing to three, five, or seven works just fine. All right, well, that is it for now. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on playing.